and welcome back to my channel today I created this look with you guys um this look is really simple I mostly focused it on the wing liner and I added a pop of color which are the lips as you guys can see but if you guys want to learn how to recreate this look keep on watching so I already did my eyebrows off camera I always use the same thing I use the Anastasia pomade I use the Tarte Creaseless Concealer, and then I always use the e.l.f. brush, and then this um, Morphe M201 brush to clean my eyebrows up. So, it's always the same thing, you guys. It, my eyebrows never change. It's always the same thing. Today, I'm going to start off with my primer. This is the Pour, the Porefessional from Benefit. I'm just gonna put that all on here. I love how this feels. It feels really nice. Like, so smooth. Like, so the foundation I'm gonna use today is from NYX, it's the Drop Foundation. So, I've used this one before, and I feel like the more coverage you want, the more drops you have to add. So I'm gonna put some there, put some here, put some right here. And with my beauty blender, I'm just gonna go in and blend everything. So I do want a little bit more coverage, so I'm just gonna add a little bit on my beauty blender. So for my concealer, I'm going to use the, the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This is my go-to, you guys. I always use this one. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to use this setting powder. It's the Pretty Vulgar from from um boxycharm i haven't tried this one yet it's my first time trying it let me see how it works doesn't smell like anything so to apply my setting powder, I'm going to use this Morphe brush. It is the M553. Um, I'm actually subscribed to Morphe Me. It's from Life Glam. And I get sent four to like six brushes a month. And this is one of the brushes that I got. So I'm going to see how it works. So the rest of the setting powder that I have on here, I'm just applying it everywhere else. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to use this palette. I actually got this palette from BoxyCharm. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but look at the colors. They are so beautiful. So today I'm actually going to do this one. Um, and then I'm going to do this one. I'm going to use this one on my base just so I can blend easier when I add this one here. Like I said, you guys, I'm going to do something really simple. So using this brush, this is the M135. I'm going to grab some of this color here. And I'm just going to pack it on the lid. So using this brush from the Morphe subscription, this is the Morphe M530-31. This is a blending brush. I'm going to just blend out what, what I just put on here. Which you can't really see it, but I'm going to blend it out anyways. So now that I kind of just blended all of that to my lid, I'm going to add this brown here. And I'm just going to start right there. So 
So I'm just blending it and as you guys can see it's getting a little bit lighter and that's what I want. I just want it to blend and look really simple, really natural, really like no, I don't want it so like pigmented. So now I'm going to use this brush. I don't know where I got this brush from, but I'm just going to clean, clean it up. Like I said, I want it super natural. So now that I'm done with my eyes, like I said, I wanted something really simple. I'm going to use this. It's from Pretty Woolgage, the same as the setting powder, the same brand as the setting powder. And, um... This is eyeliner. It's uh, the color black. And I'm going to grab this Morphe. This Morphe brush, you guys can tell it's really thin. But I want it really thin so I can like really like draw exactly where I want it. And it doesn't say what number it is, but I really like this one a lot. It's cute. It looks like, like a little bottle of ink. So I'm just going to grab some with my brush and I'm going to start right here. So this is actually a gel liner and if I were to be using a liquid I would start here in the middle of my eye and bring it out first and then do the inside. Just because if I would start in the inside the, the liquid would like go in my eye like in the middle here. I don't know if it's happened to you guys but it's happened to me a lot and that shit burns. So since it's a gel and it's a little it's harder I, I started in the in the inner corner. And I'm just bringing it out. So now that I already did the bottom liner, I'm just going to do the wing and just bring it out. And that's how it looks so like I said you can do it more thicker you can do it thinner you can do it however you want but this is how I'm I'm gonna do mine today so now that I'm done with my eyeliner I'm gonna do my eyelashes um, I'm gonna use the Tarte Lights camera lashes <sighs> So for my lashes today, I'm going to use, uh, they're the Wispy Ardells, you guys. I actually threw the box away so I can't show you guys, but they're, they're the Wispy ones. And the glue that I'm using is the same one, the Duo. It's white, but it dries clear. So as you guys can tell, it's white right there. This glue is white, but it dries clear. So I'm just going to let that dry up. And while that is drying up, I'm going to use this Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. This black here. And with this small Morphe, Morphe M175. It's really tiny. I'm going to get some of the black. Take off the axis and just do the bottom lash. I'm, I'm going to grab more of my mascara from Tarte and I'm going to put some on my bottom lashes. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to get the same Morphe brush that I got to put the setting powder on and I'm just going to take it off.
And to bronze up my face, I'm going to use this bronzer. This is actually from Victoria's Secret. They used to sell makeup. I don't think they do anymore, but I got this one like a long time ago. It's almost done. And I'm just going to bronze up my face. With the same brush, I'm just going to put a little bit on the side of my nose. And to highlight my face, I'm going to use this Tresky, I think is the brand. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. But I'm going to use this. It looks like a crayon. And I'm going to apply it on here. On here. And a little bit on here. And with this Morphe 407, I'm just going to blend it all out. And then I'm going to go in with this Milani. And with the same brush, I'm going to apply it on top. Oh my goodness. And with the flat brush, this is a really small flat brush. It is from the brand of Vintage Cosmetics. I'm going to grab my MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to get it wet a little bit. And with the same highlighter, I'm just going to grab some on here. And then just apply it on my inner corner. So with this look you guys, you guys can do something so simple and just add some nude lipstick and you guys are good to go. But I'm going to use this red lipstick. This is from Smashbox. I actually got this one for Christmas. My sister got it for me. Thank you sister. She got it for me and it actually came in a pack of six. So I'm going to start by applying this uh, lip liner. This is from the brand Nabby I think. And this is in the color Apple. And I'm just going to use this one to like outline my lips. So now that I outlined it, I'm just going to add some of the color. I actually really loved the lipstick. This is actually a metallic lipstick. I didn't even know that, but it's so nice. Like, it's not matte. It has, like, a little, like, it is matte, but it has, like, a shimmer. Like, I don't know. It's really nice, you guys. And I like how it looks with this look. Like I said, you guys could go natural with this look or go all out and put something bright on your lips. Like, it's going to look nice either way. This is going to be all for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.